From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is 1011's Morning Pulse. Good morning, I'm Danielle Shank with your Morning Pulse for Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024. Happening today, the 2024 Nebraska Legislative Session, a 60-day session, begins at the state capitol. Time is crucial for state senators to pass bills, but one of the first tasks is establishing rules, especially after filibusters brought the previous 90-day session to a halt. Speaker of the Legislature John Arch aims to wrap up rules debates within the first few weeks to address the carryover of bills from the last session. Many of the 820 bills introduced last year will return for consideration. The session begins today at 10 a.m. We'll have coverage from the Capitol throughout the day on 1011 News. Something else we're keeping an eye on, Governor Jim Pillen plans to reduce property taxes by proposing a dramatic shift in the state's sales tax, increasing it from 5.5% to 7.5% as reported by the Nebraska Examiner. Such a rate would make Nebraska sales tax the highest in the nation. Pillen aims to decrease total property taxes from $5 billion to $3 billion, advocating for a cap on local government spending and a shift towards funding services through sales taxes. He says this plan follows months of discussions with local and statewide leaders. The Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services announced an extension of the temporary regulations for the new gender-affirming care law effective since October. The law restricts transition surgeries and regulates puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones for people under 19. The temporary regulations aligned with the law have been extended for another 90 days until March 29th. Patients are required to undergo 40 hours of gender identity-focused therapy before being prescribed medication as mandated by the law. DHHS is currently working on permanent regulations, which are expected to be finalized soon. Oh, in crime news, a 17-year-old is facing 30 felonies and 18 misdemeanors related to human trafficking and child pornography, among other sex crimes. Cody Hollum is accused of blackmailing two girls for nude photos and sex last October, and court documents reveal the crimes spanned at least four years. Hollum's attorneys are now looking to move his case to juvenile court. Lastly, the Lincoln Police Department is being sued for over $150,000 for a crash involving an officer nearly two years ago. Filed by Jared and Jamie Velty, the suit claims an officer crossed two lanes of traffic in his police car before hitting them in February 2022. They say the crash left them with chronic injuries that still require medical attention. Rounding out your headlines is a check of the seven-day forecast. You've been listening to 1011's Morning Pulse. Watch, listen, stream on the 1011 Now app, on YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts.